Are you thinking about building a wine cellar but aren't sure where to start? Let us do the heavy lifting for you. This informational video will show you how to build the perfect cellar from start to finish. Your fine wine collection needs proper storage for long-term aging. Location plays a big part in planning your wine storage space. Choosing a location that is naturally cool, free of vibration, and away from natural UV light sources is essential. Natural UV light can impact the stability of wine and create an unpleasant taste and smell. Vibration from mechanical equipment such as a furnace or laundry equipment can also impact the stability of wine, causing it to lose its quality, aroma, and flavor. In addition to these general guidelines, knowing which type of wine cellar cooling unit you need to use is beneficial before starting construction. When planning a wine room, you should place the wine cooling equipment relatively close to the wine storage area. Framing your wine cellar will help you outline your space and support the insulation, vapor barrier, and remainder of the wall system, including sheetrock and or stone surfaces. In the U.S., 2x4 and 2x6 stud sizes are common components for construction. Outside the U.S., common materials may include block or stone walls. Humidity is a critical yet often overlooked element in wine cellar design. Without ideal humidity, wine quality may be affected. 50 to 70% relative humidity is adequate, while 60% is ideal. Humidity higher than 70% will likely cause mold and degradation of the labels and glue. Humidity below 50% will dry out corks, resulting in evaporation and degradation of the wine. Vapor barriers help maintain a proper humidity range. Closed cell spray foam is a common insulation method and it provides excellent vapor barrier and insulative properties. A more traditional construction method is using a minimum of 6 mm plastic sheeting as a vapor barrier around the outside or warm side of the studs and ceiling structure above. If there is no access to the outside of the stud wall structure, wrap the interior while leaving the plastic in the stud cavity loose so insulation can be applied between the studs. Another solution is to leave a one inch air gap between any foundation wall and a new stud wall and to apply the plastic to the outside of the new stud wall as it's being built. We recommend using dry lock or another sealant to seal the floors and any exposed concrete walls. If you're using glass in your wine room, we strongly encourage using insulated glass. Doors to the wine room should be exterior grade with a proper threshold and seals on all four sides to keep air leakage to a minimum. A poorly sealed door can create air leakage, causing the cooling unit to run continuously. It can also affect temperature and humidity control and potentially damage the cooling unit. When it comes to insulation, a minimum of R13 or 10 centimeter depth insulation should be applied to the interior cellar walls while exterior walls may require R19 or 14 cm depth insulation, depending on wall thickness. R21 or 15 cm depth insulation can be used for the ceiling and non-ground level floors, but we recommend R30 or 23.5 cm depth insulation or higher. Flooring should be able to withstand humid conditions. Avoid using carpet and use tile or hardwood floors instead. The two most common types of wine racking are traditional wood racking and modern metal racking. Feel free to pick wine racking based on personal preference. Wine Guardian offers five types of wine cellar cooling units, ducted, ducted split, ductless split, through the wall, and ceiling mount. Each of these cooling units has its own installation requirements, and its use depends on the size of the wine room, the ability to run ductwork, the mounting location, and venting capabilities. Wine Guardian also offers either integrated or standalone wine cellar humidifiers, which add moisture to any wine cellar. Integrated humidifiers attach to Wine Guardian cooling units, while Wine Guardian standalone humidifiers can operate independently. A heat load calculator, such as our Wine Cellar Cooling Calculator, should be used to determine your wine room's required cooling capacity and which size unit you may need. Insulation values, room size, type of use, commercial versus residential, and construction materials such as glass, block, sheetrock, 
or natural stone walls will impact the capacity needed to condition the wine cellar. Once you determine your cooling capacity, you'll have to choose the type of unit that is suitable for your wine room. Be sure to choose a system that is appropriate for the space you have to mount the mechanical equipment, keeping in mind electrical, drainage, and venting requirements. If you have a cooling system that requires ductwork, make sure to use insulated ductwork for both the supply and return duct runs. We recommend minimal length duct runs to maximize cooling unit efficiency and temperature stability. In the wine cellar, we recommend placing the incoming air supply in a high location in or near the ceiling, while placing the return duct near the floor to minimize temperature gradients in the space. Depending on the size of the room, you may require multiple supply and return locations to provide sufficient distribution of air to all areas of the wine room. It's important to make sure the cooling unit is properly installed and mounted. The unit should not be placed in a confined space where it cannot receive sufficient airflow or properly exhaust heat. Self-contained units, such as ducted or through the wall units, should be vented to a space three times the size of the wine room. Ducted split and ductless split cooling units exhaust heat through the condensing unit, which is typically mounted outside. Wine Guardian cooling systems require a dedicated power supply, control wiring for proper operation, and drain piping to an open floor drain, sink, or condensate pump. To avoid water leaks and damage to racking and floors, it's important to make sure the cooling unit is properly piped to a drain and placed on an elevated stand. Each Wine Guardian unit has its own drain connection requirements, which should be followed for successful unit installation. Humidifiers require a water supply line and a drain line for proper operation. To avoid degradation of your wine, it's important to control your cellar's environment based on the air temperature and not the liquid temperature of your wine. Generally, the thermostat should be placed at the midpoint of the room and in an area that has sufficient airflow. You can place up to three remote sensors, which are exclusive to Wine Guardian, in the wine room at top, bottom, and midpoint to gain more accurate control of the space. Air temperature changes faster than wine temperature, so regulating air temperature will create a more stable environment for your wine. In addition to being unresponsive, bottle probes force the wine to change temperature, something you don't want, are unable to monitor humidity levels, and have the tendency for the cooling unit to run longer. Proper long-term wine storage requires a temperature between 55 and 58 degrees Fahrenheit, 13 and 14 degrees Celsius. Temperatures outside the recommended temperature range will accelerate or decelerate the aging process of your fine wine collection. For commercial applications such as restaurants, you may want to store some bottles of wine at consumption temperature. Our serving temperature cooling option allows you to serve a bottle at the perfect temperature directly from the cabinet or cellar. Wine Guardian units configured for serving temperature cooling provide an extended temperature cooling range from 42 to 64 degrees Fahrenheit, 5 to 18 degrees Celsius. Before turning on the wine cooling system, make sure all construction is finished, openings are sealed, there are no gaps in glass panels, and racking has been installed. Once the cooling unit is installed and operational, it may take several hours to bring the room to wine storage conditions, which is normal. Once your wine room is at wine storage temperature, you can load your wine into the space. But keep in mind that the unit may run continuously while your wine gets down to temperature. Once your wine is cooled to set point, normal run time should be about 15 to 20 minutes per hour. For additional assistance, contact one of our wine cellar experts or use our distributor page to find a distributor near you.